Hey, what's up? Matt Carlson here, and I have been filming with Sony Alpha cameras for seven years since the original A7S was announced. So when the Sony Airpeak S1 was announced with promises of being the world's smallest alpha mirrorless camera ready professional drone, you can imagine my excitement. I have owned the DJI Inspire 2 X5S and was never really happy with the image and especially the files that came out of that system. I've been researching the Airpeak exhaustively and someone has to say it. This thing is a disaster, at least when it comes to video. Keep in mind that it costs $11,199 for the drone and a third party gimbal, which we'll talk more about later. So here are the facts that I have found so far. Let's start out with battery life. First, Sony states the flight time as 22 minutes without payload. Well, once you put a camera and prime lens on, the battery life drops significantly to a reported 10 minutes or so. My expectations were not high in regards to this because of how heavy the drone and camera system are compared to say a Mavic. But this is sneaky marketing. Sony knew that reporting an actual use 10 minute flight time would get destroyed by everyone. So they said just report the flight time without a camera or gimbal on the drone. Sony in fact probably didn't care much about battery life because the second issue with the Airpeak is even more absurd. The transmission signal to the controller is abysmal at less than one mile. This is completely unacceptable. Drew Armstrong has done a great job essentially beta testing the Airpeak for Sony and sharing his results on his Facebook group, Sony Airpeak S1 Owners Group. His primary focus is still images, but he's still having all the problems I'm talking about in this video. Drew said he could still clearly hear the drone in the air when the transmission signal was disconnecting. So he decided to modify the Airpeak controller with an Alientech Duo 2 signal booster, which costs another $500 and installation another $350 to improve the signal distance. And when he sent it to the professional drone company's technician, he cracked open the controller and was shocked to see that the antennas inside of the remote were smaller and lower tech than they were in the DJI Phantom 3 remote. I guess that's what $11,199 gets you from Sony. Thirdly, and most importantly, the above issues could possibly all be overlooked by most people if the footage was amazing. However, all of the footage I've seen has a terrible vibration and wobble issue. At first, I thought maybe it was user error and they didn't balance the gimbal properly. But upon further research, apparently it's an IBIS issue. You see, all Sony Alpha cameras have in-body image stabilization, where the actual sensor moves around to combat the user's handshakiness to produce smoother footage. However, the fact that the sensor isn't locked down, even when IBIS is turned off, is the reason that on a drone, even using a gimbal, the result is wobbly footage, as you see here. Sony is trying to release gimbal settings for every possible camera lens combo to try to fix this complaint, but it's their actual sensors, not the weight or balancing that is the issue. So why would Sony create a drone which markets itself as perfect for flying your Sony Alpha camera when they all have IBIS? and will produce wobbly footage from the Airpeak. This brings me to my last complaint. The gimbal is third party, which makes absolutely no sense for a giant company like Sony. It's $2,199 and the max payload is 5.5 pounds. The Grimsey gimbal weighs a little over two pounds by itself. So the gimbal is a significant contributor to the abysmal flight time of the Airpeak when a camera and lens are mounted. Sony could have made their own lighter weight gimbal with better integration for the whole system. After all, the company's only worth $55 billion. If you can make a return on investment just by taking stills with this thing, 
or you're a rich hobbyist, then more power to you. The AirPeak is a beta product and needs way more testing to make it worth the price tag, in my opinion. Don't be fooled by the marketing videos on YouTube and do the research yourself before investing in this product. I promise I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, but people need to know what to expect if they pay a small fortune for this drone. Hopefully this video helped you and gave you more information about Sony's new AirPeak S1. I look forward to reading your comments below on your opinions of the drone. Thanks for watching.